Now we're going to be putting on the motor mats. This, we're going to put one here, one on this side, and one in the middle. Since we haven't made the motors, we're first going to mark where they're going to go by putting the motor mount in its position and drawing a dot on each side. And same on the other side. And don't worry about the orientation along which direction, because you can always rotate these PVC um, tubing to change the direction of the motor. So now we've drawn a dot where the hole should be. And we're going to take a drill to drill holes. Before using the drill, make sure you put on your safety glasses. Careful not to hurt your fingers. Careful not to make the holes too big or the screws won't fit in tightly. Next, we're going to add this to the bottom of the seat perch. For this step, we'll need some twisty ties. Um, scissors and the mesh. So first we're gonna unwind a bit of this and place the seat perch on top. We're gonna use scissors and cut around the edge to trace the edge of the seat perch. That looks about right. And now we're going to put some zip ties around the edge to secure the netting in place. After you put it on, give it extra little tug to make sure it's as far in as it can go. Then using scissors, cut off the end. And now repeat for each of the other ties. The placement of the twist ties is up to you, but you should try to use four to six twist ties to secure it in place. Alright, we're all done with the frame of the sea perch. Now let's begin motors. <laughs> 